halfway through the service, I noticed that my snare tension had gone completely off. So it's, you know, this snare guy right here, it was kind of just laying there like this, very loose. And I was trying to figure out what happened. So I soon discovered that the snares were completely loose on the head and that over here, if you can see, the cables had snapped off of this side and the cables go into this little guy right here to give it tension. So, um, just got the drum out since last weekend, I'm looking at it, and I undid these cables here, which is fine. But what I found out was, oops, if you could see right there, when they put the drum together, they accidentally put this drum head over the cables. The cables are supposed to go through the slot right here, but not actually under the drum head. And so I had this bottom head tension so much that eventually those little uh, nylon cables snapped off completely. So I'm going to take the, uh, the uh, rim and the head off, get this cable cleaned out, and then install some new strings to go along with uh, the original snares. Here's a better look at the situation. So again, the cables are supposed to come through here and come right through this little slot right there where my finger is. However, if you take a look here, let me set this down. <laughs> the cables accidentally got wrapped under the head here. And so when I tension this bottom head, which I tension it very high, um, looks like the pressure on the cables right here. If you can see when I press it down, it puts pressure on the cables. And so too much pressure just made them snap off. So there you go. While I've got the snare drum disassembled, at least in the bottom half, I thought it would be a good time to show you guys what this looks like and what exactly you're looking at here. So here is the snare drum, uh, African mahogany and bubinga, beautiful color, nice gold hardware. Uh, this is what they call a free floating snare in that none of the hardware actually touches, you can see through there, actually touches the drum. So it's what they call a virgin drum shell and it gives you, at least in my opinion, better tone, better clarity. Um, nothing's been drilled into the drum. So this big metal piece here, this is what serves as the contact point for the lugs, which would otherwise be gone, or which would otherwise be screwed directly into the wood. So since we don't have that, this piece here serves the purpose. Now, this is a 20-ply snare drum. So if you look inside here, <laughs> I love this thing, it's a monster. This is 20 plies of wood piled in here. And man, this thing projects, it cuts, it is a gorgeous sound. So, next step, I wanna get this head uh, reset here, put the, uh, the rim back on it, get all the lugs tightened, and then wait for my nylon cables to come in so I can reinstall the snares back onto it. So, there you go, crisis averted, good day.